Okay, I got it jacked up in here. It's on the jack stands. Okay, I'm taking the lug nuts off. This is going to be for the rear shoes. Okay, that, uh, that lug nut was a special nut. I use a key socket for that. Okay, sometimes these aluminum wheels could uh, be, be on there pretty good. Just give them a couple wax. Okay, I got the tire off. There's a shot of the drum. This is another problem you may run into. Sometimes these drums don't come off very easy. They get rusted on there. As you can see, all that dust and rust and everything falling out every time I whack it. Yeah, not yet. You'll know when you get it. You'll you'll actually see it pop loose. But that's a good spot to hit them right between the studs. Okay, that one popped. Okay, remove your drums. Your drum. This drums and actually this, these drums were in really good shape. Brakes were uh, pretty low, so instead of having them come back in a couple months, I'll just I'll do them now. Here I am pulling apart the other side. This is a good practice. That way you have the other side as a reference in case you you second guess yourself. Okay, here I am uh, removing the upper spring. That spring actually goes to the adjuster mechanism. Okay, I move that. Now you see me, I'm uh, popping the lower spring. That's a retainer spring and return spring all in one. Okay, I got the inner shoe off. Okay, I just removed the adjuster and the mechanism. Okay, got that uh, lower retain and return spring off. Okay, now you see me, I'm trying to unhook the emergency brake mechanism from the cable. These can be tough sometimes because it's a pretty, that spring has a lot of tension on it. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting it just right and they'll eventually twist and pop. Okay, I usually make it a practice to lay everything out the way I take it off. That way it gives me a visual picture. When I put everything back together, it falls in place. Usually I take and uh, spray this down with brake cleaner, but this was exceptionally clean, so I'm not even going to bother on this one. Another thing you want to do is inspect that uh, wheel cylinder. Make sure you don't see any brake fluid or residual fluid, any wet, wet areas around that wheel cylinder. This one is this one's in good shape. Okay. Let me see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm getting the new pads, new shoes. I'm sorry. Okay. Getting uh getting this mercy brake cable ready. Now this takes a after a while you get the hang of this. It takes a, a feel to get this just right. What I do, I just uh, clamp a pair of vice grips on there, give me something to hold that cable. And I take a pair of cutting pliers and push that spring back, and then just lightly pinch the cable. You don't want to cut the cable, so you just you pinch it enough to hold it back, and then uh, that'll give you enough room to get your emergency brake lever to go in place. Okay, I got that in place. And uh, just make sure that cable and everything's lining up good and it's it's seated properly. Okay, you can see me here. I'm just lining up that that brake shoe. Now I got a new uh, spring kit. Okay, another thing you want to do here. I accidentally cut it out of video, but you want to take a little bit of grease and put it on wherever you have metal to metal contact, so it keeps your noise down. You'll see uh, rub marks in the backing plate. Just apply a little little film of grease on it. Breaking caliper grease will be fine. Okay, once you got that shoe in place, I get that uh, spring so it so it'll hold it there for me. You'll see the hole in the shoe where that goes, and then there's a there's a bracket down underneath that that spring goes up and over. That all in place, and then you see me here. I'm putting a pair of vice grips on that other side of that spring. Just give me some leverage and something to hold on to. So when I go in there with that that inner shoe, 
I could just pull back on those vice grips and I'll pull the spring back for me enough to slide that shoe in place. And uh, once that's in place, then you just line up that hole and just pop it. Okay. Now you see me here, I'm getting the adjuster all screwed in, taking the taking some of the adjustment out of it that way the new shoes sit in further so I can slide the drum on. Now you see me here I'm reinstalling the adjuster. Put reseat in the shoes, making sure that uh wheel cylinder's pushed in all the way. That adjuster is fitting a little loose, so I'm gonna adjust it so it just touches the shoes. That way it stays in there. Okay, now you want to reinstall the mechanism for your your self adjusters. Okay, once you get that in place, then uh, get your spring. Oh, that's an old one. Okay, got the new one. Okay, now we'll go right to that uh, that adjuster mechanism. Okay. Make sure that's going against your adjuster. The way it should. It all looks good. Okay, now on the back side of that backing plate, you'll see a plug that'll give you access to that adjuster once you have the drum on it. Remove that plug. Reinstall your drum. Okay. It might feel just right right there, but it's because the shoes were off center, so. I'm going to have my co-worker go inside and apply the brake and uh, that will send her the shoes for me. Okay, he's in there. He's, he's applying the brake for me. Okay, and as you can see after he released it, the shoes are centered. And there's That's way too loose. So this is where that back hole comes in. Take a screwdriver or adjust their tool and uh, make them shoes a little tighter. Okay. The idea here is to get the shoes that are just touching the rotor or the drum, I'm sorry. Okay, once you have them touching, I'm going to have them reapply the brakes to make sure the shoes are centered. Okay, as you can see, it loosened right back up, but it's pretty close for now. So I'll get the get the tire on it. And, uh, get all your lug nuts started. And you want to make sure you try to pull these tires in pretty even. You know the the impact I'm using is not getting them super tight, so you still want to pull it in nice. Okay, once you got that all tight, as you can see that tire was that the brakes were still a little loose for me, so I I'm underneath there making them a little bit tighter. Getting them so they just touch. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let it down, torque them. Torque them to spec and that's a cut guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.